Hi everyone, in this tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use OneNote encoding on your data set. So what is, what is OneNote encoding? OneNote encoding is a feature engineering technique that is used to achieve a much more accurate prediction on your model. So in OneNote encoding, what you are basically doing is that you are converting a value to a new column. So you are converting a particular value or the values in a, part, in a column or in a variable. You are creating new columns from those values. And those new columns are not going to be assigned binary values of 1 or 0. So let's say, for example, now you have a column called sex, and that column is now carrying male and female throughout the rows. So we are now going to create new columns, male and another new column, female. The new column male is going to be carrying binary values 0 or 1. That is, if the individual is a male, why the female is going to be carrying 0 if the individual is a male. So if the individual is a male, it's going to be carrying one at the male column. Why the individual is a female, is going to be carrying one, she's going to be carrying one at the female column. So once the individual is already carrying one at the male column, then the other column for that of female is going to be zero. I'm going to explain it in a bit. We're going to create a sample data. So first of all, we need to load the deep layer package. We're going to be using it and also the tidy alpha package. So let's create a sample data. I want to create a data. I want to create a data of uh, individuals of, let's say, five individuals. I'm creating a data of five individuals. These particular individuals, I'm going to be showing their sex in a new column and also their marital status in another column. So I'm going to be using data.frame. So the first individual, names. So I'm going to give their names. The first column is going to be names. The first individual is going to be Mary. Followed by Blake, followed by John, followed by David, then followed by Martha. So we have five individuals here. Then next, we give a column that is going to contain their sex. So we're going to contain their sex. So Mary is a female. Mary is a female, Blake is a male, John is also a male, John is also a male, David is also a male, Why Martha is a female. So sorry, I've been, written, I've been writing their names, male, male, Why Martha is a female. So next is not going to be their marital status. I'm going to be using four marital status here. I'm going to be using married. I'm going to be using single. I also have divorced. I also have, I have a widowed. Uh, then I'm married. I think this is five. So we have five values under the monitor. So, so let's run it. Now we can view our data. Now this is our data. So in one not encoding now, I want each of these values, married, single, to be a column on their own. So that when you go and check at the column married, then you can see that Mary will have a value of one, meaning that she's married. But by the time you check other columns of single, divorced, widowed, and married, they are going to be carrying the values zero, meaning they are not single, divorced, widowed, or married. Um, they are not single, divorced, or widowed. So we are now basically in one not encoding now. We want to just create four columns from this particular variable marital status. And also for sex two, we can create a one not encoding two using two columns. That is for female and for male. So First of all, we are going to pass our data to the mutate function and we are going to create the first new variable we are creating is the column married. So we are going to use the if else function. So if the marital status, if the marital status is equal to married, if the individual is married, then it should carry a value of one, else it should carry a value of zero. Next, we we'll also do that for the divorced. So if the individual is divorced, if the marital status is equal to divorced, then the individual value should carry one, 
else you should carry zero. Also for that of single, if the individual is single, so if the individual is single, then the individual value should carry a value of one. If not single, then the individual value should carry a value of zero. If the individual is widowed, if the individual is widowed, then should carry a value of widowed. Else the individual should carry a value of one. Else the individual should carry a value of one. If the individual is widowed, the individual should carry a value of one. Else the individual should carry a value of zero. So now this is our column. Can you see the one not encoding? So this particular individual matter is married. Mary is also married, value of one, while the other values remain zero. So this is a longer way of using one not encoding on your data. So there's a much more shorter way using the pivot wider function in the tidy R package. So we're going to pass our data to mutate. So we want to create a value column, which is equals to one. So we are creating a value column which is equal to one. This is the value column. So all the values are going to be carrying one. Then we are now going to use this value column in our pivot wider function. So this pivot wider function takes the names from the variable marital status and is going to take this value from the is going to take the values from the column value. So value is going to be equal to I'm going to say value from value from values from is equals to value the column value so let's have a look now and see so now you can see that we have missing values now how do we take care of this this missing values are actually indicating that there is no values for this that 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 means there is no values pertaining single divorced and widowed for Mary and since also applied to other values in Blick. So this is where we now use the argument values field. So values field is going to fill all these missing values with zero. Because the pivot wider is taking the values from that column we created value. So when you now check on it, you will see that the value for Mary was one and she was married. So it is going to take the name of that column, then take the value under that column. But because there is no value on that single divorce and widowed for Mary, it is going to give missing, it is going to say that there, there, there is like a missing number, it's going to give missing values. So we're now going to replace these missing values with zero, and we have our one hot encoding applied. So this is a much more shorter way than the previous method I showed earlier on, but it is based on your choice, anyone you feel like using, you're also going to get your one hot encoding on your data.